Okay, who we got here today with us? Dante Culpepper, man. They call me Donnie here in Ocala. Is this uh, Dante Culpepper first round draft pick in the 11th Minnesota Viking? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The one and only. The greatest player in America in history, huh? <laughs> hey, man, I let everybody decide that, man. I, I had a lot of fun. I know it's a lot of people debate this, debate that, but just to be mentioned in amongst the, the best is, is, is good enough for me. That's right, sir. So when you think about community and you think about football, what's the first thing come to mind? Well, just myself. I, you know, I was one. I was. I look in these kids' eyes. I was one of them. You know, not. You know, many many years ago, I was one of them that that looked up to guys before me, like Ronnie Jones and Steve Rim and Steve Bowen and and uh, all the coaches that we had here, Coach Yancey or whatever, and Coach Haley. You know, people who who showed us what excellence is and showed us how to work to to be successful in uh, whatever you want to be. So when you think when you go back to your high school years and your career in football and as a person, what's the gr most greatest trait that you can have to be successful? Hmm. I mean, I guess it's a it's a combination of things, but you you, you got to have you got to really have that attitude that you're not going to let anything stop you, you know, because there's going to be a lot of obstacles throughout your life and in anything you do, but you got to have that perseverance. I think perseverance. Um, having a positive attitude and, uh, and uh, you know, just, you know, staying humble. And, cause it's, it's, and one thing my mom always taught me, it's never as bad as it seems, it's never as good as it seems. So stay humble and keep working hard. That's right. That's the key to success, hard work. And that's one of the things that Coach Farmer preaches to these kids. I interview a lot of these kids, and they say Coach Farmer instilling them hard work. And that's important, very important in today's world. Oh, yeah. Not only in football, but in life itself. Oh, yeah. So let me ask you, sir, let me have a little fun with you. I want you to play fill in the blank. Right. If I could go back to any age, it would be? I don't like to go back, man. I, I, I like to live my life and try not to have any, you know, I make mistakes. It happens. But I, I try to learn from my mistakes. So I, 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 don't, I don't like to say I like to go back to any. I like to be my age I am right now. I agree with that, sir. We live and we learn, and we become better men. Yes, sir. Okay, so what's the most greatest lesson you learned from your parents? Ooh, I, I say the golden rule. Treat people like I want to be treated. You know, that's how my mama always taught me that. And that, and that, that uh, and to be respectful. To be respectful, and that, and that has, those traits carried me through my life, and um, and I teach it to my kids. And I teach it to all the younger young men and young women that I uh, that I'm around that I uh, get a chance to mentor and have some type of, of impact on. My childhood crush was <laughs> man Whitney Houston. That's a. Hey. You, you got a little competition over here. <laughs> hey, my, my daughter named Whitney because my wife won't let me know I'm a Whitney. Okay. Name Whitney. <laughs> okay, so my favorite cartoon growing up was? Thundercats. Thundercats. Lion or? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I yes. tell you. It was great. It was great. But as a bunch of men, I was talking to my wife the other day, man, there's so many cartoons that we had that I wish these kids had today, man. It was, I mean, Transformers. Uh, he man, he oh man, he man was excellent. You know, uh, Tom and Jerry, come on man, oh, yeah. come on man. You had the cartoons that did no talking; yeah. they let you form your own opinion. Those are the great ones, like Pink Panther and Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, Mr. Cole Pepper, on behalf of Talk Love and Communication, sir, if no one told you they love you today, William Robinson loves you, sir. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Love you too. God bless you. Same to you. Thank you.